All right, so in this video, we're going to just do a few examples. Uh, they're all going to be based on just this situation, and we're just we're just trying to have some more examples so that we can uh, have good um, skill with using and understanding the normal distribution. Okay, it says here scores on a job performance prediction test are approximately normally distributed. That means we're going to use the normal distribution curve with a mean of two sixty seven. So over here, I'm going to put mean 267 and a standard deviation of 63.8. So we're going to put sigma equals 63.8, okay? And our first question, part A, says, well, what proportion of applicants score lower than 300, okay? And to answer these, uh, we're going to need to identify a z-score. And then after we identify a z-score, we're going to have to, we're going to go into the NumWorks calculator and we're going to find our proportions that go with that z-score. So the first thing we have to do is convert the number 300 into a z-score. So z is going to be equal to 300, that's our, that's our uh, value of interest, minus the mean, which is 267, divided by 63.8. And we're going to need a calculator for this. So uh, let's switch to the NumWorks calculator. All right, so we're going to open up a web browser. And we're going to type in www.numworks.com. And we're going to bring up, we're going to go to emulator. And we're going to use full screen, right? And we want to calculate something, so we're going to use the calculation. In, in just a couple minutes, we're going to go down here and use the distributions feature. But to find out this z-score, we're going to use calculation. I want to remind you that you can also use the NumWorks calculator uh, app on your phone if you want to. It works just the same way, and it's completely free. Uh, so we're going to hit OK. And it looks like our calculation is 300 minus 267 divided by 63.8. So 300, and I like to hit the divided by, we're dividing by 6.8, and then I'm gonna move up, and I'm gonna subtract 260, whoops, go back, 267. I, I like the fact that the NumWorks calculator will give me the form of a fraction. You can see 300 minus 267 divi uh, divided by 63.8. Whoops, I messed that up, I didn't put the three in. 63.8, all right, so two, minus 267 divided by 63.8, and then we'll hit, um, whoops, we'll hit execute, and we get a z-score of 0 0.51724, okay? You know what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to four decimal places here, uh, although we wanna be careful. You know, let's go to six decimal places, 0.517241, 517241. So 0 0.517241, so that's our z-score, okay? And the great thing about the NumWorks calculator is it will allow us to put in a z-score that's, that's that specific, okay? So now we're gonna uh, go hit the home button and we're gonna go back to this and we're gonna go down to the distributions. And we're gonna hit okay. We're gonna do a normal distribution, so we're gonna arrow down to normal and we're using z-score, so we want to have a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one because we're using the standard normal distribution curve. Now we're going to go down here and we're going to hit next. Uh, now this question is asking what proportion of applicants score lower than, so this is the one we want. We want the lower than, uh, and remember, we can select from three. We have the lower than, we have the between, and we have the higher than or more than. Well, we want the lower than. We want this one. And our, uh, this is where we put in our z-score, and then it gives us our proportion. Uh, so let's put in our z-score, and let's remember what our z-score was. It was 0 0.517241. So here we're going to put in 0 0.517241. We're going to press execute, and look at that. It gives us our proportion right here, which is 0 0.697506. So P equals 0 0.697, 0 0.697, 506, 506, okay? And it says what proportion 
of applicants score lower than 300. So 0 0.697506 of them. You could put it in just as 4, 0 0.6975, but every once in a while, uh, the computer systems or the homework systems will ask for something more specific, and they may want this 06 here, okay? Let's try another question. All right, here's part B. It says, what percentage? Now it's asking for a percentage. If this was going to be a percentage, we would have to multiply it by 100. We would move the decimal point over two places, and it would be 69.75%. Well, this question is asking for a percentage, so that's what we're going to do. After we get our p-value, we're going to turn it into a percentage. But first, we're going to get a p-value. What percent? Well, really, first, we're going to get a z-score. What percentage of applicants score higher than? So we're going to have to switch to the higher than uh, 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 setting and it says higher than 350. Well, first we need a z-score that goes with 350. So we're gonna go z equals 350 minus 267 divided by 63.8. And again, we're gonna go back to the NumWorks calculator here. We're gonna, um, we're gonna go back home here. We gotta go up to the calculator, hit okay. And we're gonna do 350, um, minus, now I want to show you what I did. So do you see what I did here? I, I divide, I hit division first so I could get the fraction. Well, let me show you if I don't, if I don't do that first, if I put minus 267 and then hit division, look what it does. It only puts the 267. I can't have that. Uh, one way to uh, circumvent that, sorry, I hit the wrong button. One way to circumvent that is you could do parenthesis 350 minus 267, then close parenthesis. Now hit divided by, and you can see that it puts the whole thing in the numerator. Divided by 63.8, we hit execute, and look, it gives us a z-score of 1.30094439. We're only gonna go out to six, so we're gonna do 1.300, then nine, four. We don't need this zero because this four tells us to round down to zero. So really we just need 1.30094. 1.30094. One now in many cases you can probably get away with just having 1.30, but it really depends on how much, how specific the homework system is. Uh, so now let's put, let's go ahead and stick with, with this 1.30094 and we're gonna identify a p-value. So let's go back to the calculator. We're gonna go back to the home screen. We're gonna go down to distributions here, okay? And look, we, we're still in the normal distribution, which is good, and we still have our, our standard normal. We've got our mean of zero and our standard deviation of one. So let's, um, let's go to, uh, uh, we're gonna put, we have to switch the system because this question is asking for a greater than. So we want this one here, go down to greater than, hit, hit that, and now we're gonna put in our z-score, which was 1.30094, and we press enter. You can see here's 1.30094 z-scores right here, and here's the shaded region, and the proportion is 0.0966395. Since I'm doing a percentage, I'm gonna stop at after four, I'm gonna do 0 0.0966. So 0 0.0966, and I can now turn that into a percentage. That'll be 9.66%. How did I get that? I did 0.0966 times 100. 0 0.0966 times 100 equals 9.66, and that'll be our percent, okay? All right, let's try another one. All right, so part C here is saying what proportion, so now we're back to a proportion of applicants score between 225 and 250. So since this is a between question, we need two Z scores and we have two numbers. So one of our Z scores is gonna be 225, so 225 minus 267, divided by 63.8. All right, we're gonna to have to go back to the calculator here. So we're gonna go back home, we're gonna go up to the calculator, hit okay, and we wanna do 225 minus 267. So we'll go parenthesis, 225 minus 267, close parenthesis, divided by 63.8, 
and our z-score is negative 0.658307. 68307. So we got negative 0 0.658307. 307. Okay. Now we needed another z-score. We need the z-score that goes with 250. So we're going to do 250 minus 267 over 63.8. Okay. We're already here. Watch. Here's a cool feature. I can go up here, highlight this, and then hit OK, and it'll bring it down, and I can now go in and change this to 250. That's a really great feature. Hit Execute, and we get negative 0 0.266457. See this 6 here? This 6 is going to round that 7 up to an 8, so we're going to have negative 0 0.266458. So we'll have negative 0 0.266458, uh, 458, okay? And now we're going to put those into uh, the normal distribution. So we go back to the calculator. There we are. We're going to go back to the home button, and we're going to go back, back to distributions. Hit OK. Uh, this is a between, so we're going to come over here, and we're going to change this. Hit OK. We're going to select between. Hit OK. Oh, sorry. OK. I didn't go to between. Here's between. Hit OK. And now look, I put my smaller z-score in here and my larger z-score in here. Let's try and remember what those are. I got an arrow over here, so I highlighted this one in gray. And I got to put a negative 0 0.658. So negative 0 0.658, uh, 307. 307. Great. Now I'm going to come over here. And in here, I'm going to put in negative 0 0.266, or negative just 0.266. That 0 is actually superfluous. It's not necessary. 266458. 458. And then when I press execute, here's my p-value. Or sorry, let's go. we got to move over. So here's my p-value. So this little sliver in between is between the, these two z-scores, negative 0 0.658 and negative Two point, excuse me, negative point two six six, and we get point one three nine seven seven two eight. So our p value is point one three nine seven seven two eight seven seven two eight. Okay, and that's it. That's what proportion of applicants score between 225 and 250, about 13.97% of them, or 0.1397728. Let's do just one more example. So this part D here is asking us, uh, it says what percentage, so we're gonna have to transform our answer into a percentage of applicants score between 260 and 360. So it's the same as this between up here, only in, it's different numbers. It's two different numbers, and we're going to take our proportion at the final end and turn it into a percentage. So we need two Z scores. Z equals, and we'll start with 260. We'll do 260 minus 267 over 63.8. Okay. And so we're going to have to switch back, go to the home button, switch back to the calculator, hit OK. And again, we can come up here and grab this. We can highlight this one, hit, and change it to 260. OK, so we'll, we'll replace that 5 with a 6 and hit Execute. And our z-score is negative 0 0.10971. This 7 is going to change into an 8. This 8 is going to round this 7 up to an 8. So negative 0.109718. 109718. So negative 0 0.109718. That's our z-score that goes along with 260. Now we need a z-score for 360. So z equals 360 minus 267 over 63.8. And let's go to the calculator. And again, we can grab this again and change it to 360. So I'm going to arrow up, grab that, come over here, arrow over to the 260, and make it a 360. So delete the 2, put in a 3, execute, and we have 1.45768. This, this 2 is not going to change the 0 and the 0, 
uh, is unnecessary. So 1.45768. 1. 1.45768. 1. Now we have our two Z scores and we can put them into the calculator. So now we're going to go back home and we're going to go down to distributions and hit OK. And it's still a between question, so we just got to change the lower z-score and the upper z-score. So here's the lower z-score. We're going to put in negative 0 0.109718. Negative 0.109718. Execute. Okay, and then we're going to come over to this one, and we're going to put in 1.45768. 1.45768. Execute, and look, there's the shaded region right here. And when we arrow over, our proportion is 0.4712 and then 191. But we're doing a percentage, so I only need four of them. So that'll be 0.4712, and it'll wind up being 47.12%. 4712, so P equals 0.4712. And if we multiply that times 100, that'll give us our percentage and that is 47.12% of all applicants score between 260 and 360, okay? All right, I think that's some pretty good practice. Hopefully by now you've got a pretty good handle on using the normal distribution, calculating z-scores, and then using the NumWorks calculator to find p-values.